The armor rolling into Georgia captured the headlines, but even more ominous signs of how far the Russians could go have just surfaced. During the conflict, Russian planes dropped bombs within 50 feet of a pipeline that brings oil from the Caspian Sea. 25% of the European Union's gas and much of its oil comes from Russia. If the Caspian fields are cut off, Europe will be at Moscow's mercy. That economic weapon may be one reason why Russian Prime Minister Vladimir Putin and his hand-picked president Dmitry Medvedev are willing to defy censure from the West out of hand. But talk is not as cheap as they let on. Global risk is pulling back. And um, what this has essentially shown is that uh, the uh, Russian state um, uh, is more bellicose um, than most of the world wants. Financial institutions report that $25 billion of capital may have been pulled out of Russia since the Georgian conflict began. Power is held by a pretty small group of very rich people. If they start to suffer um, because of disinvestment, because of the crisis that they can create around their own borders, uh, then that will affect Putin and Medvedev's view of what is feasible. And Russian consumers like Western imports. Even as Russian armor was turning Georgian police cars into scrap, a Moscow exhibition center was staging a motor show, complete with the cheap glitz that new money seems to demand. Political and military muscle may be flexing, but in the end, it's money that will matter most. Alan Pizzi, CBS News, London.